question about it. From an eight starting spot, he is blistering. The lead out in front, still the battle rages for the third spot, Matt. But as he heads down into turn number three, final time, Brendan Bach will take down the victory. Jordan Lamont will finish in second. Yeah, Jordan was keeping a pretty tight line, and I knew I had to try and uh, enter high and really swoop it down low. And uh, I was a little bit better off the turn than what it seemed like everyone else, and I was able to get the job done. The most important lap of the racing career of Alexander Ferd beats everybody into the second quarter. Good battle for second between Latrois and Walker. But can they get to our leader? Here is Alexander Fern in turn number three. They work their way to the bottom of turn three. Alexander Fern comes up on lap traffic. Ladies and gentlemen, on ladies night, girls night out, Alexandra Fern, the first winner of the feature event for the Dare Stock division. Well, this is really awesome. And, um, you know, once it was lap 15, I was like, oh, you know, this was a regular distance race. I would have won by now. But like, um, then I kept going, and I was like, I got this. And I got really excited. Um, I can't thank my parents enough. Yeah. Um. Provost moves third onto the podium. A route has to settle back in for the fourth spot. Final time through turns three and four. Albert Saunders looking for the victory. American sleeve bearing will take down the win in the limited late model division. Good run for Andrew Hayes to fit. Uh, feels really good. I think I had the car to win last week and got wrecked while leading, which was uh, kind of a messed up deal, but hey, that's racing. So uh, definitely got back with it tonight. Uh, Barry did put uh, a great setup in the car tonight. All of his adjustments were spot on. The car was really good. Uh, we've been gaining on it, gaining on it, and uh, finally got it tonight. I think uh, I think those restarts really helped me because uh, I had to start on the outside and those restarts were able to get me to the bottom. Then I was able to just, I pushed it really hard those first few laps to try to get to the lead and then I just maintained it. I drove away from the field. So it was a really good race. Cliffhanger, any one of three drivers could win it. Sorrell goes into the second quarter the quickest. Salva right there, Mendito right there. But Sorrell has the upper hand as they go into turn three. No question about it, Sorrell, the point leader, looks to secure the victory. Off turn number four, Sorrell will take down the win. Salva will finish in second. Yeah, we were, you know, I drove my hardest. I mean, we were, uh, we burned off the right rear tire. I've had quite a few races on these tires now. Uh, you know, they were good last week, so we tried to run them another week, and, you know, they were really starting to wear off quick. Um, you know, we were, we were, I was trying my hardest to catch them. I really can't tell if we were or not. Um, but, you know, I saw him slow up a little bit, and, uh, you know, I'm just grateful for, uh, for getting this opportunity to win again. Jay, uh, Josh Wood trying to move into the podium. They swoosh off the corner, three wide. Who will get fried? J.J. Hill made it three wide. It's Stewart gets the advantage. Stewart moves on to the podium as they head off turn number four. Adam Gray back in winning form. It's Adam Gray to take down the win. It'll be Jim Peterson to finish in second. Yeah, we, uh, we've been struggling the last few weeks. We uh, missing the setup just a little bit, and uh, we got it tonight. The thing is going great. Well, Colby up on the outside of Avery. Avery just refuses to be left out of this one. They come together. Doug Colby goes around. Avery stops on the racetrack. And Chase Dowling is caught in the line of fire. They come off turn number four. What's going to happen now? Ladies and gentlemen, yellow checker comes out. Ryan Priest will take down the win. Ten Sometimes you're better to be lucky than good. And, uh, you know, we... Uh, we Everything just kind of fell our way there at the end, and uh, we were just trying to get through the way we have to run tires. We had to, we had to run our old tires on this race, and and I mean Keith had a really good car, and so did uh, the 59 and and Doug and Dan. But uh, sometimes it's better to be patient and and uh, kind of see how it plays out. But I got to think.